Welcome back to the next section of traffic training. In this section, we're going to talk all about load balancing and routing, where the real magic happens within traffic, where we're taking entry points using a router with rules and middlewares and then assigning it to a service. Let's take a look at the architecture, exactly how this is going to work. Again, we have an incoming request coming to an entry point. So traffic is monitoring the entry points for any, any incoming requests. And think of an entry point as a port. So a simple port that's exposed by traffic. So that means port 80, port 443, port 8080 for the dashboard or additional ports like databases or any other services that you want to publish through the entry point. So traffic monitors the entry points for any incoming requests and it then connects it to routers. So it could be one or many routers and each router has rules and these rules then look at the entry points. So for example, if a request comes in with who am I, it looks at the rule. Hey, does do you have a who am I rule? Yes or no? When yes, then it sign it to the service who am I. Now on the service side, we actually have a load balancer and the load balancer actually does load balancing, believe it or not. And there we can define on the service exactly what port to connect to on the container, what kind of load balance we want to do, and we can really define all sorts of different features at the service level as well. So all three levels of the traffic architecture, entry point, router, and service, we can define all these. And we can do that through labels for routing and services with dynamic configuration. Now, load balancing and routing, what we're going to cover in this section is really expanding the providers. Again, we, we covered pro providers previously in static configuration, but now that we're using dynamic configuration where we can enable more labels on the container to take advantage of their infrastructure. For example, we can start looking for IP addresses, the health of the service. Uh, we can look at all sorts of things on the provider level that's exposed from Docker. Next up, we have entry points. Again, these are defined on the static configuration. Uh, we're In the next section, we're actually gonna cover routers. So we're actually gonna create different rules in the router, for example, host and path and different headers, and then we're gonna match it to a service on the backend. Now the services, we also can do different configurations. Using labels, we can enable load balancing, we can determine what ports to use, also TLS. And finally, we have middlewares, and that's a whole different section, but we'll start slowly getting into middlewares and enabling middlewares through load balancing and routing. Join me in the next section as we start jumping into routers and understanding exactly how routers work in the entire architecture. And we finally start uh, building more middlewares, services, and different configurations within traffic. So join me in the next section as we start enabling routers.